Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. Hey everyone, it's Kato, and in today's video, we are going to be working on my newest island theme, maybe. Just kind of cleaning up the island. I don't know. If you're interested in content like this, and you want to see more in the future, I'd appreciate if you'd like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell if you want to be notified every time that I post, but let's get right into it. We are on my island, Nedia, today. I do have several different islands, and Nedia has been through some changes, okay? We cannot commit. We are struggling to commit to anything at this moment in time, and I'm accepting that. I'm just going to accept it for what it is. So this is what we're working with right now. We had a Peter Rabbit style entrance before. That didn't last very long. And so now we have this, here's where it started. So initially it was a vintage farm core kind of vibe. And I'll show you, I have a mood board in the back of the island that I'll take you to and I'll show you where it started. Vintage farm core, that's kind of what we were doing. And then I was like, you know what? I kind of also want to add an abandoned town element with this road pattern because I really love it. And I also want to throw sports in there. So I'm going to have some abandoned sports areas, like an abandoned baseball field, basketball court, all kinds of stuff like that. That's where we're going. So we were like, maybe we call it like, I don't know, Sandlot. You know, the movie The Sandlot? I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. So this island is an absolute disaster. Please don't judge me. It's a wreck. I've been trying to clean it up. This was the mood board that started it. I love the way this mood board looks and I've taken some items from here to use up at the front, but I like it. I like all the browns, the forest vibes, everything like that going on. So I feel like we kind of need to just, there are some things I want to organize like these bamboo trees everywhere. My island is just a mess. Like I just, it needs to be cleaned. It needs to be fixed. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, I'm gonna just take some time. We're gonna work on some stuff. Maybe get to some designing in the entrance. There is this pond area that I started working on that I just so far haven't been able to figure out how to get it right because waterscaping is hard and my brain is not processing it so <laughs> that's where we are and i have all these bamboo trees i guess i'm gonna keep them you can see over here so i'm trying to organize things however i have bushes and crops here but then i have trees all the way over here that i'm trying to organize so i think i'm gonna keep this going and we're gonna put some bamboo trees here because I think that makes the most sense to have them over here I don't know I want to take a quick break from working on the island to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video Squarespace from websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics Squarespace is an all-in-one platform that allows you to build your online presence and even run your business. Squarespace is so easy to use. All you have to do is go to their website, browse through all the different templates that they offer, choose the one that most appeals to you, and you can customize it directly from there. You can change the colors, change the fonts, embed videos directly on your website. They also allow you to connect all of your different social media accounts. So all of your posts will show up directly on your site. They even have an option where you can sell your own merch, plus so much more. So make sure you head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And then when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash consulcato to save 10% off of your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back into the island work. What do y'all think of this theme idea? Are we on board? Do we like it? 
I don't know. I could sit here and try to justify why I change themes every, <laughs> literally every week. If you come to my streams, you know that I'm constantly changing what theme I'm doing. I'm still working on my fairy tale island. If you haven't seen any of that, I have several videos, several streams about that island. And that one is a dual, dual sided, is that what you would call it? A symmetrical island. There's two sides to it. One side is dark, one side is light. And I'm kind of trying to mimic each side on the other one, if that makes any sense. I do really want to finish that island because I think it's a good concept. What am I doing? I just wasted... I just wasted that mushroom by digging up that tree and that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so we're going to dig up this. This is the kind of stuff, it just takes me so long to organize. <laughs> trees and everything. Do y'all do this? Am I the only one? I can't be the only one. It's nice if you do stuff like this and then you have everything just ready to go when you need it. Especially if you're going to use stunted trees on your island and then you just have them all ready to go. It's very convenient. I will say that. But getting it all together is such a pain. And then half the time you don't even use it all. And then once you get back here, you don't have any room and you gotta move it all. Okay. We've got our, I do really like this bamboo. I don't know, maybe this will kind of work for my theme. It's kind of cute, right? And then we've got the very tiny one right here, which is also very cute. Let's put another tree right here. If you don't know what I'm doing, by the way, you can stunt trees at whatever stage of growth you want them to stay. You just have to plant a fruit it can be any fruit except for a coconut. So you'll see I have all these fruit saplings. Um, it has to be a fruit. It cannot be just a hardwood sapling, so keep that in mind. If your trees are growing, you probably didn't plant the right thing. Stunted trees are a game changer. If you haven't started using them already, I highly, highly recommend them because it just adds such depth to an area the height variation, it's so good. So, so good. All right, so we've got bamboo, hardwoods, cedar, and I think these, I was putting some baby trees, which I don't think I, oh yes I do. Okay, we'll put that one there. These aren't even stunted. I'm gonna put a, this right there, okay. So that should be good. Oh, this island. What a disaster. Oh, look, Daisy May, cute. Hi. All right, I want to show you all the pond area that I'm struggling with because waterscaping is just challenging. Let's be honest with ourselves. It's not easy to do. If it was easy, everyone wouldn't complain about it. All right, so I have that little area on my mood board that I really like, and I kind of want to just take it and put it right here. But I want to have it next to some water because in my head that makes sense. Like, does that pond look weird? It kind of looks like a kidney bean or a potato. I mean, it really looks like a potato. Kiki seems to like it. Kiki, do you approve? Is it just too simple? Is it too small? I really don't know. Maybe I should go... Should we grab the stuff and bring it back here? I really don't know. Yeah, maybe let's do that. I'm gonna clean out my pockets 
and I'm gonna go grab all the stuff and come back and we're gonna try to recreate what's going on on my mood board up here. Okay, I've got all of my stuff and now I'm quickly realizing that this is definitely not going to be enough room because it seems like I'm gonna need five spaces wide, maybe, if I'm guesstimating correctly. I'm also going to need Kiki to move out of the way, but that's neither here nor there. I guess she can stay there for right now. We'll see if we can make this work. I don't know. It kind of needs to be open enough where I can fit some trees too. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it a pretty big space and we can narrow it in. I think that would be easier. I think it's always easier if you make it too big and then you can fill in the space after you've decorated. Okay, so let's start. Let's try to recreate our little area. Okay, so there is the start of that kind of area. I don't know, how do we feel about it? Do we like it right here? Do we not like it? I'm very tempted to move it all back one space because I don't think I gave it enough room. When I did the mood board, I had a puddle in the front of the log bench and I really liked that. So is it worth it to move it all back one space? I really don't know. I also, there are all these empty spots in the road that I just haven't completed yet, but this is kind of the vibe that I'm going for. I really want it to feel, I want it to feel very youthful, but not, not going too far into the kid core thing. I just want it to feel youthful. I want it to be a lot of different Games, like I said, sports, baseball, basketball, that kind of stuff. Uh, I love the tire toys, the bikes, a ton of that. I still want it to feel overgrown and abandoned. So there's a lot going on here, but I feel like having a lot going on and having a lot of options will probably help keep me focused on one island as opposed to jumping all over the place because... I'll have a lot of different areas that I can work on, which will be a good change for me. So 
that is kind of where we stand on this island. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today while I did a little bit of cleanup, a little bit of work on this island. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!